Monkeys, roll the footage. Now it's time for Dial Global's exclusive coverage of the Women's Basketball Championship. Let's head to New Orleans and join Ted. No oh man, it was a great win, a top 2 and 0. You know what they say about 2 and 0? What do they say? They can go 3 and 0. <laughs> Dirty Tom, I, I'm very interested in your uh, your play-by-play. Could you call the uh, Chris Perez blown save for me? All right, here's the fat man with the beard and the long hair. The pitch. <laughs> oh, hell no. This one going deep. And it is gone from Batista. We are tied. Crap. I don't think enough play-by-play guys say hell no when the when the ball goes off the bat. You might be onto something there. Big announcement coming up tomorrow at nine. I think a certain member of the 92.3 The Fan staff is going to have a sex change. Which one? Find out tomorrow at 9 a.m. What if you had a bet on something like that? Forget it. 216-578-0092. What's the point? I, really, what's the point? Why would you do it? You're still talking about sex changes? The news. <laughs> I know why you would do it. It's a liberation. It's a great feeling. Falar, why would you do something like that? You're out at... <laughs> Shut up. I just realized what I was just asking there. Yeah, you never clarified what you were talking about. <laughs> Falar, why would you get a sex change? Say, kid would sound the most hilarious with the sex change. Hi. <laughs> hey, big boy. <laughs> Want to play Find the Cigarette? That's the end of the show. That's the, that's, that's the best the show's going to be tonight. That's the end of it. It's all downhill from here. Drunk Penguin on Twitter who's with his family. I don't know if they're playing cards. Keith's mom, Betty. She doesn't like talk radio. Betty, let me make you like talk radio. I'm going to talk radio to Betty until she likes it. I'm talking to Betty, the drunk penguin's mom. And if they're playing cards, I want you to lay that jack on me. Betty's an older sounding name, but I'm not going to say anything about Betty herself. That's just experience, man. Don't worry about that. Why don't you slip off those fuzzy slippers? Let's bring this day to a pleasant end. Get off that old robe. Sing into a great big bath with me. I know I'm the size of William Howard Taft, but I'm also the size of William Howard Taft. Is that a history book somewhere? It's in the information. It's in the sexual history book of Ken Carmel. <laughs> Just talking sports. Talking talk radio. Flor, do you have anything more sexual to say towards Betty? I'm, try- I'm trying to visualize this. Don't bother me right now. It's the best I can do right now. That's the most I can say right now. <sighs> Betty, this is going to you. I don't know where maybe Betty's family is, where Betty's son is, but Betty, I'm just talking about you and me. In the closet, in the family room, on the driveway, Betty, it doesn't matter. We are going to talk some sports. And that's Betty Sexy Talk. Mr. Pop. <laughs> and that's it for the opening 20 from New Orleans. All UConn all the time. 48-29, halfway home to the school's record-tying eighth NCAA championship. But I got to get to the contest line, and we welcome in Carl. He's calling from North Ridgeville. Carl was lucky caller number eight. Hello, Carl. Hey, guys. Carl, if you, if you were to pick a team, are you okay, Carl? Well, that's <laughs> we great, need another man. winner. Carl, if you were to pick a team, which team would you want? Are, are you guys are you guys picking on my age? <laughs> no, why? What am I saying what? about your age, Carl? Uh, <laughs> Price is right is still on, brother. <laughs> oh, the button still sucks. On. Price is Right is on right now. I watched it with my wife earlier today. What? What's the problem here? <laughs> oh, you're gonna, you're I, I can't tell you this right now, but I like Carl. I hope Carl's <laughs> able to win a lot. All right, Carl, you ready for your team? Yeah, I can barely hear you, but yeah. Turn, well, t- turn, turn up the turn hearing Turn down game. the music. There. <laughs> <laughs>
I hit the this fight, I guess. Carl, all right. Let's give Carl his team. Well, my ears are going, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, man. My eyes are about to hatch. <laughs> Oh, man. Give Carl, you got your work cut out for you because your team does not have a whole lot of holes to fill. Okay. You're going to be drafted for the Seattle Seahawks. Check it out. Okay, I'll take that for sure. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Carl, what was that reaction? He was, yeah. Oh, that you. <laughs> 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 oh, I know I get somebody on that one. <laughs> oh my God! Where are uh, they even pick? They didn't even pick in the first round, are they? No, you're not. You can just sit down and drink beer. <laughs> I've been working on that. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell, Carl. I thank you very much. We'll see you coming up on the twenty uh, fourth. For sure, guys. Cheers. Dirty Tom and Wakeman. Oh, you're next up on the fan. Don't touch me, man. I'm on the phone. <laughs> Who's touching you, Dirty Tom? Oh, uh, buddy of mine, Louie oh. Lee. Louie Lee? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> Put Louie Lee on the phone. I want to talk to him. What? Put Louie Lee on the phone. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Louie Lee? Hey, I'm a big fan of the show. <laughs> Why are you touching Dirty Tom? He's got skin tags. What? Man, you stop talking. I want... No! Those are my shoes! He screamed he's got skin tags. Those are my shoes! You're going to get dirt. You're going to get this cat later in your shoes. Are you guys driving Whoa. right now? I do cocaine! I kick it in your ear! Are you guys driving right now? Is he gone? I'm right here. Are, are you okay, Dirty Tom? Yeah, that's Louie. He thinks he's funny. I do cocaine. Hey, you know, where's, where's Bill and Vermillion? Say what? Where's Bill and Vermillion? Uh, I, I really don't know. I, Bill I and, heard Bill, no, Bill and Vermillion called yesterday. Do you have any words for Bill and Vermillion? You guys have kind of squashed the beef. Listen, Bill, I, I know how your day goes, and it's, it's depressing. When you wake up around 11 a.m. and you get your shoes on, you stand at the RTA bus waiting to go liquor shopping. Oh, my God. You get up on that RTA bus, you run right up there to that first seat, and you sit down real quick, and you look back at the people looking at you, and they say, that's Bill and Vermillion. And then you look down at your feet, and you notice your two socks are completely two different sizes. But you don't care, because you're going liquor shopping. <laughs> Getting ready for the Ken Carmen show. I think that might be that might do it there, uh, Dirty Tom. Anything to leave us with? Later. And that's it for an NCAA. Record time, eighth time in school history. UConn, you are the women's national basketball champions. The Huskies were the Big East best in the Big Easy in 2013. UConn does it again. <laughs> All right.